Have you guys ever found a really cool t-shirt and then you look at the price tag and it's just like... One, two, three. Well, I am in a similar situation. I found a really cool vintage tee online and no hate to the person selling it, but they want $220 and I can just not pay that right now. So what I thought I would do is gather some supplies and recreate the t-shirt myself. All right, so first up on the list of supplies that I have, I actually do thrifting on the side sometimes. And during one of my little rummages, I picked up this blank Gildan vintage tee. I believe it's between uh, 1997 and 99. So I do have a vintage tee to put the design on, which is pretty cool. And then as far as the paint, I found this make market fabric paint at Michael's. Um, it is a brush on fabric paint, so I do not need to add anything to make it soft or adhere to the fabric better. However, it does say that it only lasts up to 10 washes, so I will definitely try to include um, the t-shirt once I throw it in the washer and we'll see how it holds. Hopefully, all this hard work does not go to waste. I did pick up some medium just in case the paint isn't as soft as I like. I do have the option of adding this in to make it a little bit softer. Next up on my iPad, I sketched out the design and I have some vinyl that I'm going to put the design over and then cut it out with an X-Acto knife. Hopefully if everything goes according to plan, the stencil will hopefully easily be traceable onto the t-shirt. Let's go ahead and get this design onto this t-shirt. All right, we are all taped down, so let's go ahead and get started. stencil did not go on as easy as I hoped it would um, but I was able to outline all of the bears as you can see so hopefully the top part of the stencil comes out pretty straight so let me go ahead and put this on here all right guys so we have the full sketch very roughly drawn out so again these are the paints that I will be using they are by make market so let's go ahead and bust these bad boys out <laughs> guys so here is where we are at so far so some of those natural stains that were on the vintage tea are obviously still present but this is where we're sitting so all we have to do now is try to put it through the washer and just hope that it makes it here is the final result out of the washer all of the paint actually did hold up i'm very surprised and happy that it didn't go to waste and all my hard work just 
washed away in the washer. There is one thing that I wanted to try and do and I want to do a stretch test on the paint to see if it cracks or if it actually moves with the fabric. So let's see if we can get any of this paint to crack or if it actually will kind of just come back together. Let's go ahead. I feel like that held up really well. All right, let's see. I'm gonna like really stretch. No, look at that. This little paint is kind of impressive. All right, let's do like a really big like stretch test and see if I can get any part of this. Oh. I mean, it's holding up really well. <laughs> All right, guys, so there you have it. I think for a cheap option, the paint held up really well. Again, if you are looking to do this on your own, this is the paint that I use. Sorry about the glare right there. Let me know, should I do the back part? There is technically a back graphic on the original vintage tees. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Go make your own vintage tee, and I'll see you on the next one.